course, everybody knows Dan Gable. And Dan, uh, we're here at the wrestling camp over here, Wisconsin Dells, with the World Wrestling Resource, and uh, they put on great camps. It's nice to see you here and to watch you instruct out there. It was very, very impressive, and the kids get a lot out of it. But on another topic, Dan, and that's in regard to something that's a big issue right now with wrestling, and that is head impact injuries. And uh, uh, we are experiencing a lot of it at the high school level, and I see the college level is experiencing some as well. You know, I think that uh, wrestling is relatively uh, you know, a pretty safe sport, actually, if you know your sport well and you know what positions to stay in and out of, uh, and if you can control uh, the situation. But that doesn't happen all the time. The more you know the sport, the more likely you're going to stay out of dangerous positions or positions that you know that can hurt you. I know where I got hurt in my sport. I always wore a headgear. I actually wore, uh, you know, a headgear that um, I, you know, I probably could have improved upon it. I wore a mouthpiece most of the time, but not. That was kind of after I was done competition, more as a coach, and I realized how important they are. So there are things that are, are very valuable. I actually feel that uh, uh, a headgear, you know, is is a must. I don't know why we don't do it at the international level. I think it's just we're so primitive from a standpoint of pure that it's a piece that they think maybe can give somebody an advantage mm -hmm. and they don't want that to happen. But, you know, eventually they'll probably wear headgear as, you know, all of a sudden when they see that the sport needs a protective headgear, then they'll, it'll open their eyes. But they're so pure at that level, they want just, you know, a small piece of sure. equipment to, to wrestle in. So, uh, you know, I, I, I honestly feel that, um, you know, that a good piece of uh, protective headgear would make a lot of people, parents especially, feel good about our sport. I mean, any sport that you do, you have, there's going to be some danger. But if you can wear a protective piece of equipment that is going to eliminate most of that, and what's called prevention, then that's the thing to do. And I definitely feel a great headgear would be an answer for... Uh, most of the uh, concussions that, that happen, and even other things that happen in your face, you know, cuts and things like that. I agree. Uh, leader headgear, we're into, uh, you know, we understand that uh, the ear guards that are out there right now are just really what they are, and I guess in the rules they say that you must wear an ear guard. And, and our leader headgear now, we've, we've come up with something that we feel that not only are we protecting the ears, but we want to protect what's in between the ears now. So we have extra protection for the, for the cranium area. So we're wondering, uh, you've seen the headgear, what do you think of it? Well, you know, I'm, I've always used different headgears in my coaching career and my athletic career. Most of the time it's probably been a keen headgear. And you know, it, and it's mandatory. You know, it, this, the headgears are mandatory. You know, that's that's a good thing. But I would think that you're focused more on that prevention of a serious injury. And because of that, I would say that your focus is in the right area for our sport. And that doesn't mean I don't know. I haven't worn enough to say whether it's the best headgear, but. I think you probably feel confident enough to say that, but but again, uh, I would need to put it on a few times, even though I uh, don't wrestle every day, but what I do is I do something with wrestling every day to the point where I can put that headgear on it, and maybe whether I hit a takedown dummy or something like that, uh, I could tell right away once I used it, so I just need to put it on, I just need to put it on. Thanks Dan, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. I know. Uh, Leader Head Gear, Larry Dale and Rich, uh, we really appreciate your comments and uh, more importantly, we, uh, we just love you and we love the contribution that you make to wrestling and uh, really, really uh, enjoyed watching you uh, teach out here today. Well, I appreciate that and if you're doing something for our sport that helps it in the future, then, you know, then I'm going to say I love you too as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.